Yeah, hello, uh, good morning. Uh, we'll have to uh, uh, study how to use the PLC ladder simulator 2A. We'll have to uh, program in the uh, PLC the two location uh, control of a one induction motor. Okay, so I have to uh, open this uh, app. Okay, so, so, so this is just a uh, free app and then we have here our uh, um, menu, okay, and I need to have uh, the push button switches, okay, so I have to open this one, input output, and I will have to uh, select uh, the uh, switches that we will be going to. Uh, use okay so I will uh, have to use input 0 0.2 okay I will change this to a push button switch okay and another one for another uh, start uh, button I will have again to change this to push button and then for the uh, stop button I will use input 0 0.4 okay another uh, uh, stop button so i will control the motor into two uh, locations stop and start okay so we will be using also the uh, uh, thermal overload delay for input 0 0.6 which is normally closed so i will just put it uh, on the circuit later on okay so i will have to save this and close okay and then I have here the uh, motor for output 0.0, .0 and I will change this um, uh, contact here. I will uh, change the uh, absolute operand. Okay, so I'll have to double click this. So I will have to edit and uh, I will have to use the input file and I will use input 0 0.2. Okay. And then I will click update. We have, uh, so we have now the input 0 0.2. Okay, so I will have to uh, add a uh, uh, start button again, which is still a normally closed button. Uh, so it is a start button. So I have to put this uh, in uh, parallel with input 0 0.2. So that would be input 0 0.3. Okay, so I will have to put a branch. Okay, I will click that uh, branch icon there and I will drag uh, the locations. And then uh, there is a, uh, there is our branch and I have to uh, add another contact here. Okay, so that would be input 0 0.3 form another uh, start button so I have to put here input 0 0.3 okay and I will add okay so I have now my input uh, 0 0.2 input 0 0.3 uh, both for uh, start uh, button okay so then I will add the uh, stop buttons okay so i will use the uh, contact for the plc the negated contact okay negated contact since it is normally open so the stop uh, buttons that i'm going to use are normally uh, open so i have to put this one here okay so the um, uh, absolute operand of the stop button will be input 0 0.4 okay input 0 0.4 and then i will add again another uh, push button input 0 0.5 okay input 0 0.5 and then okay then i will click add okay then after that 
if I don't uh, uh, want to uh, or I will uh, put the uh, uh, maintaining contact here later on okay I can uh, have the simulation now let us see okay so we ha I have here the start button so see this is normally open so this is now not uh, conducting mode since it is not lit so the condition here is still false okay so this is a contact uh, 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 mode okay or it should be a uh, current conducting mode that is uh, that is what it means of this uh, contact so this is the negated contact so if i will click this one i will push this one okay now it is true so this one if it is now uh, connected or conducting current the condition now will be met so it will be true so however this uh, stop button if it is not pressed since it's normally open uh, the condition is already true because it's a negated contact that means it is not conducting current so same thing if i'm not pushing it it is not conducting current so it's already true Okay, so that is why if I will press the start button, if I will step, press the start button, all the conditions are met. Okay, all the conditions are met and the output 0.0, .0 is lit or turned on. Okay, same thing here with input 0 0.3, it is turned on. So there is no, um, there is no uh, latching contact here, so I will add a latching contact here. Okay, so I will uh, stop first the simulation and then I will add the um, uh, this contact. Okay, so I will add another uh, uh, contact there and I will put this one. Okay, and it should be an output now instead of an input. So I will have to use the output file output 0.0, .0 and then okay and then i will add okay so and then i will add another uh, contact here because uh, there will be a thermal overload relay which is normally closed okay so i will add a contact here for thermal overload relay so these two contacts or these two buttons will be stop which is normally open and then these two buttons will be start which is also normally open and this is the maintaining contact of our output coil okay so i will add a um, uh, thermal overload relay okay so i will use this contact okay i will use this contact okay and since the thermal overload relay i will assign it as input 0 0.6 okay so input 0 0.6 and then okay then add okay so if i will now simulate okay this is my thermal overload relay input 0 0.6 okay i will turn this on since it is normally closed okay since it is normally closed so the thermal overload relay will be connected directly to the uh, uh, motor and then when the, uh, it is overheated it will be turned off so the contacts will be open from normally closed it will be uh, open okay so now since it is normally closed so the logic now is true because this contact needs the thermal overload relay to be in conducting mode so the condition now is being met so it is already true okay so these two also these two contacts also for the stop button are already true so if i will press the start button and we have now our latching contact okay so the motor now is latched okay and then i can uh, stop i can push the stop on the first location okay and I will uh, push the start on the second location and I will uh, push the stop on the second location okay 
uh, input 0, 0.0. Oh, the input 0, 0.0. Okay. So the input 0, 0.0 is the stop. So I'm sorry, that would be our stop. My stop is uh, here. I, I, I was not able to change it. So I will just change that one. Input 0, 0.0, I will uh, put the put input 0, 0.5. Okay, input 0 0.5. So input 0 0.5. Okay, then update. Okay, so we'll now simulate. So input 0 0.5 is there already. So I will start it. Okay, stop on input 0 0.4. Start on input 0 0.3. Stop at input 0 0.5. Okay. So thermal over overload relay, the thermal overload relay is always on unless the motor is, is experiencing thermal overload. So if it is thermal overloaded, it will be turned off and the motor cannot be started. Okay, the motor cannot be started. So if it will be reset and then start again, and if the motor experiences thermal overload, then it would be uh, stopped or released okay so if this is already finished we can generate the code for arduino we'll press stop and if i will uh, want to generate the code for arduino i will click this one and i will select my arduino and i will just generate so it would be saved on this um, uh, folder on the phone okay and okay so it's already generated and then if i will uh, want to uh, load it on the arduino okay using a uh, windows or laptop i will just exit on the app okay and I want to open it and I will transport it to uh, or export it to Windows. I will click explore here and we'll go to Android. I'll go to data and files. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I will uh, look for the PLC simulator 2, this one, and then I will go to files, I have PLC data, and then I will go to MCU codes. Okay, so here are the uh, files. Okay, so this one is my entitled uh, program. So I will click this one, and this is now my code. Okay, so I will export it to Windows. Okay, I will export it and I will click export to Windows and I will save it to my folder. Okay, I will put this on download. Okay, 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 so select folder. So it's already saved on my computer, ready to download it on the Arduino. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.